A big question I've always had as an artist on the iPad is how do I get my Apple Pencil to stop sliding around the screen so much? So I wanted to test out these magnetic screen protectors that are supposed to help your drawing um, just by helping you to get more precise lines. I bought this one from ESR and first you have to clean your iPad screen to use it. So if you use a wet cloth at first to wipe it down, then you use a dry cloth to get rid of the smudges. And after that, you actually end up using a sticker just to make sure you're actually getting all the dust off of your iPad screen. And finally, you do one more pass of wiping down your screen so you can ensure that it's fully clean. And then what, now we can finally put on our magnetic screen protector. And from here, we'll just do some tests to see if it's actually improving anything when it comes to drawing or just precise use of your Apple Pencil. As you can see, it sticks straight onto your iPad. And when it sticks on, it can be a little bit imprecise. There's a little bit of a gap that it leaves. Um, so you have to try your best to put it on so that the black bars aren't messing up the visuals of your iPad, try to line it up with the bezels of the iPad itself. So now we can go into Procreate and in Procreate, we'll just turn down our stabilization just to see how precise we can draw lines on our own without any software improvement. So the first thing I did was I actually tried to draw zoomed out just to see how well I could draw at a very small detail from afar. And I actually found that it did improve my drawing and there was quite a bit of texture. I'm actually going to do a sound test later in the video for you to see, but there is a difference. Although I would say it is not a big difference at all. Um, in fact, I would say if you're precise enough with your drawing, you can achieve the same results without the screen protector, but there is something we can add on to improve this. So we're going to get into that later, but what I also did was I did some line tests with and without the screen protector. And as you can see, without the pre screen protector, the lines are straight, of course, as it should be. And with the screen protector, I noticed there actually is just a slight amount of wobble, not enough to the point where it's actually interfering with your drawing but there definitely is some level of interference because the tip is a little bit further from the screen itself. So here's a sound test when you just are using the screen protector with the regular tip. And as you can see, it, it does sound different than when you're regularly hitting your pencil. It sounds more like you're drawing on paper. So what I actually did to improve the performance of this screen protector was I put on a metal tip onto my Apple Pencil. And this is actually an idea I got from the AstroPad screen protector where it's a very pop, AstroPad is a very popular iPad brand and they actually started using screen protectors alongside metal tips so you could get more precise drawings. And I found that with the metal tip as well as the screen protector, there actually is a very noticeable difference in the drawing, though I wouldn't actually recommend going out and buying the full Astro Pad set, considering it, it's expensive for what a small a screen protector is and a Apple Pencil tip. Instead, I would recommend just buying a kit that includes a bunch of different metal Apple Pencil tips and a cheaper screen protector set and using that and that's a great solution. So what I did finally is I actually used the old screen protector that I've been using for a few months. It probably has about four months of use. And what I noticed is my old screen protector actually has just about no benefit to using at all. Like it has no texture to it at all. Um, and the new screen protector that I just opened for this video had a lot of texture and kind of this video was even me experimenting if there was ever any use um, for this protector because I felt when I originally bought it that it was pretty useful but now I feel that it hasn't been useful for like months upon months so I finally ended up taking it off and what I found out is that I think these just deteriorate over time and I actually wouldn't recommend buying these for long-term use unless you want to keep buying these magnetic screen protectors back to back. 
In conclusion, I don't think it's very necessary to buy these screen protectors for use with a regular Apple Pencil tip. And if you do use the metal Apple Pencil tip solution, I just don't recommend it if you plan to use it on your regular screen like that because for one, they're less comfortable than the regular Apple Pencil tip when you actually start painting instead of drawing. And two, they while I did use it, uh, Apple, a metal tip on my old iPad for years, I do think they pose a little bit of a risk of scratching your expensive iPad, which is something that's just better off not even having taken the chance of. I will play devil's advocate and say that there actually are benefits to this product though, because it does work point blank. You just may have to do a lot of work to improve it. I hear you can also clean these screens um, perhaps with detergent to restore some of its texture. And it does provide you with a nice warranty where I believe under the right circumstances, you can just request a new magnetic screen protector um, and hopefully they'll fulfill that request. This product is better than regular screen protectors like paper legs because I've always found that those also have the same problem where they eventually just stop being useful after a few months, but at least being able to easily always access the beautiful screen your iPad has is great. So instead of this product, I would really recommend buying rubber tips for your Apple Pencil to be able to draw more precise lines on the iPad. I was really on the fence about buying rubber tips, but I bought some a few weeks ago and they work really great. They do fall off very, very easily, but they draw so much better and they're easy to remove and store and they come in a huge pack of them just for a few dollars, maybe $5. I got about 30 rubber tips and it will take me a long time to get through those as long as I'm not going outside and losing them. If you enjoyed this video and if you feel you learned anything, please like and subscribe and look forward to more. Thank you.